I love Mars helicopters. April 25th, 3rd flight, Ingenuity. At 12.33 p.m. LMST time. Local means solar time. That is uh, Mars time. The helicopter took off at 4.31 a.m. PDT or uh, 1.31 a.m. PDT or 12.33 local Mars time. 4.31 a.m. EDT is 8.31 a.m. UT time, UTC time. I love NASA's Mars 24 sun clock, I think. It tells me the time on Mars. The Mars 24 software displays a Mars sun clock, a graphical representation of the planet Mars showing its current sun and night sides. That's exactly what we need. Mars 24 sun clock. Let's fill in uh, the proper uh, latitude and longitude. 18th latitude north and the 77th uh, longitude east. That's 77th uh, longitude and the 18th uh, latitude north. Let me check the time again on NASA's website. 4.31 EDT UTC A31 A31 UT time is 9.38 local mass time for this location I think your uh, local mass time is uh, off by like uh, 3 hours NASA <laughs> 12.33 p.m. local mass time is not the same as 9.38 local mass time why not use your own tiny app to check the data <laughs> And with these azimuths and elevations, we can never see a shadow coming straight down from the helicopter. An azimuth of 89.7 and an elevation of 52.3 is not really overhead. If you take into consideration the Senate is 3 hours later with an azimuth of 180 and an elevation of 86. That's more uh, closer to an overhead sun. Mars. Eighteen latitude north. Seventy-seven uh, longitude east. The azimuth was almost uh, ninety degrees. And the elevation was uh, 52.4. Uh, this sun angle cannot uh, create those uh, perfect straight shadows like we can see here. No, no, this is uh, from the uh, NASA Mars helicopter. Oh, I don't like helicopters. Piece of shit. Daddy? Yeah? Can you turn down the music? Why? I'm going to sleep now. Idiot. Okay, okay, you stupid bird. I hear that, piece of shit. <sighs> Let's have a look at the shadow. The 
light source is right above the helicopter. No angle in shadow. Same here. Oh boy. How are you going to fix this uh, NASA? You cannot change uh, this time now because then it uh, not corresponds on the time uh, you told us uh, the helicopter uh, fly to place and you choose this time because uh, that's around noon on Mars that looks more like this with the given data straight line to the sun almost straight well the sun is uh, more or less overhead to fix this problem you have to add three more hours to this time then you can say it's uh, 12.33 p.m. local Mars time. Are you right there, you fucking cocksucker? It seems on the first and the second flight, you didn't mess up. You gave us uh, the correct data which uh, corresponds with the Mars sun clock. Second flight. Also at the 12.33 p.m. local Mars time, when the sun is overhead. This picture tells us the sun was right above the helicopter. Otherwise, uh, the angles of the shadow uh, would be uh, skewed. So these are made with a black and white uh, navigation camera. I suppose it can uh, take only photos, because I've not seen uh, moving uh, images from this. The shadow of NASA's Ingenuity Mars helicopter can be seen in this animated GIF composed of images taken by its black and white navigation camera during the rotocraft's third flight, on April 25, 2021. The camera, which tracks surface features below the helicopter, takes images at a rate at which the helicopter's blades appear frozen in place, despite making 21 full rotations in between each image. So, from what I understand, this navigation camera can only take uh, images otherwise you don't need to make uh, animated GIFs it took images at the rate which uh, the helicopter blades appear to be frozen in place I'm going to scroll up now to see the animated GIF so uh, if you have a weak heart shut down your uh, screen <laughs> 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 what the fuck is this? <laughs> so the helicopter is hovering because uh, the ground is not moving and then we see the shadow moving <laughs> it is totally fabricated bullshit I can do that I made this animation and this is uh, how it should look like when you film your own uh, shadow. And now I let the shadow move. And that is wrong. <laughs> Grab a camera and try to uh, follow your own shadow while you're standing still. <laughs> at full speed, the blades spin at 2537 revolutions per minute. The images are aligned entirely using Ingenuity's onboard position tracking system highlighting the stability and accuracy of the navigation algorithm. <laughs> this must be uh, the tiny navigation camera. This is from the first flight. And here we have one uh, from the second flight. Oh, that's a really good navigation camera. You 
because it uh, took a picture when flying over the same stone. <laughs> Look at this stone. <laughs> Let's have a look at the third flight. <laughs> it takes a snapshot uh, again when it flies above the same uh, stone. This camera can take a shot each second and then uh, from uh, three different flights you show us uh, three pictures which are uh, more or less the same. We want to see Mars, idiots. That's a really good uh, navigation camera because it can take a picture from the same stone in three different flights. <laughs> While I was working on my video, there was a, a fourth flight. Mars helicopter tech demo. Is it a demo or uh, is this some uh, reality? Let's see. The flight was on uh, April uh, 30 at 10.49 a.m. EDT. Ten forty-nine EDT is two forty-nine AM UTC. So you're telling us it was uh, ten forty-nine AM EDT and twelve thirty-three local Mars time. That's when the sun is uh, overhead. Let's check the data on NASA's own uh, application. Seventy-seven uh, longitude east, eighteen latitude. The, the time is two forty-nine UTC, like the converters say here. It's dark here. No uh, daylight to film the helicopter. Telling time on Mars. Yeah, you telling me. Accurate solar timekeeping on Mars is central to the study of its uh, weather and climate. Yeah, suppose I want to do that. Then I need uh, exact times and the correct data. In the past you sent all those uh, satellites up to study uh, Mars. But until now, you're showing me bullshit. Why are you not using your own app? How do you tell time on Mars? There is an app for that. NASA has produced an app that helps scientists and amateurs alike to keep track of time on the red planet. Get the fuck out of here. We thank members of the Mars Climate Orbiter and Mars Exploration Rover projects at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory for their encouragement in the development of Mars Solar Timing Algorithms and the Mars 24 Sun Clock. Tons of people worked on the Mars data. I think they all need to be locked up in a mental institution. What a bunch of idiots. Are you all uh, stupid or so? Why none of these idiots uh, check the data like I did? Let's take some more data from this uh, Mars uh, 24 uh, clock up. I'm here at the primary area. 
at the spring equinox spring equinox February 7, 2021 Here we are on Mars Prime Meridian at the equator Sunrise is 9.18 and the sunset is 21.39 That's 12 hours and 21 minutes Let's move 180 degrees to the opposite side on the same moment Sunrise 2059 Sunset 920 So how is that possible? This sunrise to sunset is about uh, 42 minutes uh, shorter than the sunrise to sunset uh, exactly on the opposite side on the prima meridian on the equator <laughs> well, that uh, is Mars's equinox, I think. <laughs> so that means Mars rotates 42 minutes slower on the prime meridian. <laughs> Let me visualize it for you. February 7, 2021 on the Prime Meridian and it took 12 hours and 21 minutes from sunrise to sunset and on the same day 180 degrees opposite it took 11 hours and 39 minutes from sunrise to sunset so that's like 42 minutes difference Let's do another one on the same date on the spring equinox this time we use the 85th latitude north on the uh, prime meridian sunrise 9.12 set 21.51 that's 12 hours and 39 minutes let's move 180 degrees to the opposite side 180 degrees Rise 2057, set 926. That's 11 hours and 31 minutes from sunrise to sunset. So on the 85th latitude north, on the prime meridian, we have 12 hours and 39 minutes uh, from sunrise to sunset. And exactly 180 degrees to the opposite side, on the 85th latitude. We have 11 hours and 31 minutes from sunrise to sunset. That's one hour and eight minutes difference. <laughs> what a trash. So on Mars Equator, we see 42 minutes difference between east and west. And at the 85th latitude north, east and west, we find a 68 minute difference in rotation speed. How do we do that? <laughs> you guys put a lot of work in all this bullshit. How many uh, people worked on this uh, application and on the data? Is nobody uh, smart enough to do what I do? Does this stuff I show make sense to you? On your uh, algorithms? <laughs> Pieces of shit. Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> wow, a selfie from the Persephans. With a helicopter. <laughs> wow, amazing picture. Going to download it. I 
amazing. How do they take those uh, selfies? Ah, here we can see how they take those uh, selfies. Oh yeah, we take 62 pictures from all different angles. And then send them to Earth. And then uh, people on Earth stitch them together. Amazing how they create this from 62 images. I don't see uh, any lines. You did a very good job stitching uh, all this shit together. No way you can uh, stitch uh, 62 images together seamlessly. To create this image from uh, 62 images, you need to do some heavy uh, photoshopping. This is trash. So where is the shadow from the robot arm that take the selfies? There should be a shadow here. The sun is overhead. No shadow from the robot arm. It should be here. All the stones and sand looks like it's not uh, stitched together. Piece of shit. I have here two images of the Persephone's rover. And there is one hour and three minutes uh, in between those uh, pictures. So now we stitch uh, some images together and we can see the, the lines here, the seams and uh, there can be an hour uh, between uh, the first and the last uh, image because NASA told us that here is a video from the Curiosity that uh, took a selfie and NASA explains uh, how this uh, selfie was taken Now they speed up this video, times 130, for 31 seconds. So that's uh, around 67 minutes. So there is more uh, than an hour in between the first picture and the last picture. Here we see the arm, the robot arm, which should uh, give a shadow. So that was uh, 31 uh, seconds. And when the video is sped up with uh, 130 times, that's an uh, easy uh, calculation. That's 67 minutes between the first and the last picture. So you have to uh, adjust the shadows also. Because uh, when you overlay uh, two images with different shadows, then uh, the shadows uh, are going to look uh, weird. Pictures have a different shape. Even if you take them uh, a couple of seconds after each other.
it is only a couple of seconds uh, between them 40 seconds to be exact made at 62 different pictures well times four there's 208 uh, lines we need to see you know seams the stitching can you imagine having like uh, 200 lines in your uh, image that you have to uh, retouch so to create something like this you have to do a lot of photoshopping doing some real hardcore manipulation this is just stress this picture is uh, taken by a person somewhere in the desert so now we have uh, all this stuff stitched together but here the buttons have a different color we can see the line here and these are only uh, two uh, images stick together so we can take it away a little bit with some tool in photoshop but there always uh, will be lines uh, visible because you cannot uh, get everything uh, perfect because uh, here you have to uh, clean between the letters it's an impossible job this is not doable I have here two pictures from my tripod here I moved uh, like five inches to the left let's see how uh, difficult it is to uh, line up some uh, stuff let's cut it here so let's try to line up uh, this uh, tripod again see what happened in the background things are way off let's line up this wire Pieces of shit. Conducting the sky crane. About to conduct the sky crane maneuver. We lost direct earth to tone. Sound confirmed. Perseverance, take lead on the surface of Mars. Ready to begin seeking the sands of past life. According to Wiki, Mars this is very fine and Mars is covered uh, with uh, dust all over the place. Why we don't see uh, dust blowing up? <laughs> what is this for garbage? Look, this is a Mavic drone. And we see uh, dust blowing up. According to Wiki, Mars dust is uh, very fine, so it's very light, but we don't see dust. According to science, Earth has 60% more gravity than uh, Mars, so that means the dust on Mars is 60% lighter. <laughs> And we don't see a dust blowing up with this uh, bullshit helicopter. Yeah, according to NASA, 100 uh, pounds of dust on Earth would weigh 38 pounds uh, on Mars. Yeah. <laughs> Let it 
tissue box, <laughs> just to give you a frame of reference. And in addition to that, generating enough lift involves having high RPM. So we're flying at and on an average of 2,500 RPM. for a minute because here on earth helicopters go 400 to 500 rpm so that is so much faster Taryn it's incredibly fast they talk like they uh, invented boiling water <laughs> so we're flying at and on an average of 2500 rpm 2500 2500 2500 rpm Get the fuck out of here! Get the fuck out of here! Twenty-five hundred. Can I have a moment of silence? What is twenty-five hundred RPM? Can you read my lips? 2500 RPM. RPM, 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 yum yum. RPM, 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 yum yum. Read my lips. 2500 RPM. I just want everyone to sit with that for a minute because here on Earth, helicopters go 400 to 500 RPM. So that is so much faster, Taryn. It's incredibly fast. It's like we were oriented while it dictated about this. <laughs> I don't know who did that. <laughs> Umbra and penumbra. Can somebody explain me the science behind the, the umbra and the penumbra? I try to experiment this. The umbra converts into a small point and the penumbra becomes wider from the same light source this becomes wider and this shadow becomes smaller penumbra and umbra same shit here The penumbra shadow becomes wider and the umbra shadow uh, converts to a small point. <laughs> Can somebody uh, explain this or uh, do an experiment because this is impossible. You cannot uh, experiment this with a simple light. They should both uh, converge, or both uh, become wider. It's impossible. I even sent an email to timeanddate.com with this question. But that was uh, two weeks ago. They not have uh, answered me yet. <laughs> Thank you. 